Hello everyone, my name is Melki Asad, and today I'm going to show you how to add references to your articles using EndNote. So first, we open the EndNote program, we go to File, New, and then we choose a name for our library, and we choose the destination file. Whenever you save an EndNote file, you would get another folder, and this is where the data is stored, so make sure Whenever you move the, this file, make sure that you move the other folder with it. And this is the empty library we have. There are two ways to include references in EndNote. You either search PubMed from the program, or you go to PubMed and download references. And this is my preferred way. So you choose any term you want to search in PubMed. I chose controlator prophylactic mastectomy. And then you go and choose the references you want to add to your library. So I chose one, two, three. You can choose one or more than one. Let's choose this seven. And then you go to send to citation manager, create file. And the references will directly go into EndNote. The problem I used to have before because of Google Chrome is that the references used to be downloaded, and then I had to click on each reference for it to be embedded into EndNote. One solution for that is right click on the download file you have and choose always open files of this type, which means whenever you click send to citation manager and create file, the file will directly open into EndNote without having that downloaded. So now you have your library. You can choose one and click on references. And you can see that you have the title, the year, and even the abstract with it. You can click on preview to see how the reference will look like when you embed it in, in Word. And you can play with the style here. Most journals ask for the JAMA style, but you can choose other ones too. So let's go to our Word file. If you have a small text, maybe EndNote might not be that important, but whenever you have so many references and you want to change the order, EndNote will take care of that. First, make sure that your instant formatting is on, because otherwise EndNote won't connect to the Word. So we start from here, EndNote, instant formatting on, and then you put your mouse whenever, wherever you want to add the reference. There are two ways of getting the references. I want to choose JAMA first. This is where the style of the reference. There are two ways of embedding the references into Word. Either insert selected citations, which means you already have selected several citations. Let's choose D3. And you click on insert selected citations. And the numbers will be added here with the references. Another way is Insert citation. Which will take you to the whole library. And then you can search by the author name or the title. And then you can choose the references you want from your library. So let's say we're going to look for Fisher here. I click Find. I can just choose that reference and click Insert. Always the reference will add wherever your mouse is. Let's choose other three references here, the, the last four, and click Insert Selected Citation. And now we have seven references. Let's say you want to remove all of them, you can just click on the delete. But if you want to remove one out of this, because whenever it's more than two, it says four to seven if they're con continuous references can just go here where it says edit and manage citations and click on the reference that you want to remove. So we want to remove Smith, remove citation, click OK. And now you see one citation was removed and Smith is not here anymore. One cool way of EndNote is that if you want to change the order of your paragraphs, and all journals ask the references to be numbered in the way they appear in the paper. 
So you can't have reference number four before reference number one. And let's say you want to move that paragraph up. The traditional way you just have to renumber all, the, all your references, which is time consuming. While EndNote can take care of that for you. So you can see now four, six, turns into one, two, three, and the order is arranged here too. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Melkasad. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching.